You hate being filmed. You hate being filmed. What do you hate being filmed for? Huh? Why? Why? <laughs> Stay on camera. Stay on camera. <laughs> what? Why do you hate being filmed? Huh? That's more like it. That's a good dog. About a month or so back when the kayaks were just starting to come out at Walmart. Now I don't know if they miss labeled this particular kayak or it was done on purpose but uh, they had this one marked at 188 so I snagged it up and uh, I'm more of a canoe guy and I wanted always wanted to try to give a kayak a shot but uh, upon more research I think this particular sun dolphin is probably more geared towards a lighter person. I'm right around that 220 to 235 mark, give or take. My weight tends to fluctuate depending on how much uh, fast food I want to eat. But uh, anyhow, um, with being, I have with being in canoes as well as kayaks before, not a real familiar with kayaks, but uh, been in them and been a novice at them. Never felt one so side shaky. This one's definitely not a very stable um, boat for, I feel, anyone over 200 pounds. All the buoyancy is in the back behind the seat. The front, when you're trying to put that in initially, um, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get wet water coming through the scupper hole. So you either have to block those out, take away the ability to have that as a bailing. But I think if you're over 200 pounds, regardless, and Grant, now I'm telling you about a dry kayak right now. I have nothing else in it. There's nothing in that back cage or that back box that could come out. And I'm not slamming the boat um, for 188. I guess you get what you pay for, but I believe these things can retail upwards of four or five hundred bucks. I'm just thinking. I'm just saying for a larger person such as myself. I'm six foot, about two. We'll just say 230. Um, I don't feel that this boat is made for that. It's rated for 350, but um, there's water coming in the scupper holes and, and everything else like that, so you're gonna have a wet butt. So this will be one of my daughter's kayaks because I am just too heavy for it. And uh, I've seen uh, ratings on it and everybody who loves this boat, uh, they're probably in that 100 to 150 range guys who don't like this boat or guys like me are bigger it's just too small um, it's not stable enough and I probably should be walking around in these here making all that noise but uh, so that's my little quick synopsis I do have some footage of me getting in and going up and down kind of the creek but uh, floating around all day in a wet butt isn't uh, my uh, my idea of fun here today so we're gonna bring it back over there load it back up on top of the super I'm pretty pressed with the with the speed the boat can get up and go all that kind of thing um, but all in all um, if you're over two I would say if you're over 175 185 pounds don't waste your time on the 10 foot um, get spend a little extra money um, get a 12 footer even if it's rated at 350 pounds if I put any extra weight in here this would not be no fun at all also you're gonna want to get some additional handles to put on the side anchor trolley off also would be something that uh, you'd want to come with it but for all in all for for a, a under five hundred um, dollar kayak I don't think it's all that bad with some of the features it comes with hey this is top piece of one practice outdoors don't always forget always be prepared to live outdoors <laughs>